Hello everyone, I'm going to make a, a video in English, so be, be kind with me and my accent. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this card. Um, I show you. It's um, shimmering, even if you can't see it at, at the camera. Maybe you can a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to uh, the, how to use this technique. Uh, I made a background already because you know how to make a background. This is just uh, some distress ink on my craft sheet and uh, some water. And I, I put the paper like that on the, on the ink. So the background is already done. I um, added some shimmering powder you can't see it yes you see it now so my background is already down i'm going to use um, a stamp from castle craft because they are the best of course uh, you need any kind of stamps by the way but you need a, a bold image uh, because you're going to to color the black the, the black part of the stamp so you need a bold one we are going to use some antiquity frosted crystal powder which is a um, matte and granulated powder but it's made matte we are going to use some versa fine or any kind of of ink that allow you to emboss and some magical powder, um, some shimmering powder. Any, I think you can use another brown, but I have this one. Okay, so take my background. Okay. Some black ink. You can you can uh, use any color. I use black because I think the magical powder reacts nicely on the black image. Start again to have a really nice black image. Good pressure. It's an, a big stamp, so you you have to stamp several times, sometime. Okay, and now powder. Okay. So the the secret, if I can say that, of the frosted crystal is that you don't have to emboss too too longer. Sorry, I, I'm I'm not finding the the word. So I I use a heat gun. As soon as it becomes clear, you stop. Okay. 
So it's clear, I stop. I go further. That's it. Can you see something? So it's melted. I, I don't know if you hear me, but as soon as it become clear, you stop. It's melted. If you overheat, it will become shiny and you will lose the, the benefit of the powder. So it's matte and granulated. Granulate, granulated. No shining. Okay. I'm just going to clean my stamp. to take some magical directly on the craft sheet um, Isabel Leandra if you if you are here feel free to lose to my accent okay some a little bit just a little bit with a anything a brush huh? this one is uh, Edelweiss Moss Green. Bit of water. Okay. Mix the powder. And now you are going to, to apply the, um, the ink on the black embossed. And the, um, the powder will Keep, keep, kept. I don't know. <laughs> the ink. So you tap, 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 up, just here and there. Okay, now you can add another color. too much water so it's not um, opaque as I would like I'm going to use this one okay maybe it's better Just add the color on the black here and there. Shall I have another uh, another green? This one maybe.
Ups. Yes. Could be nice. Very green. This stamps is nice to, for this technique because you have some leaves here and there and nothing very precise, I uh, don't know. Maybe I have to learn English before doing video in <laughs> English. <laughs> it should be a nice idea. But you, as soon as you understand what I'm saying, it's okay for me. If you don't understand, let me know. I will stop making video. The the powder is um, when the when the water is dry. You do not have any residue. It's set in the in the powder. And it, it kept the color because it's granulated. So the color is going in, in the hole of the, uh, I think you can imagine what I'm saying, but try it, <laughs> we'll see if you have. I, I don't think you, you can do this with another powder because you need something granulated and, and matte. And if it's a, um, a shiny powder, the, the ink is going to ring I don't know on the glossy powder so the glass the grass but glass grass sorry I'm a little tired and I don't know what exactly I'm saying Okay, and I'm going to mix some black, just a little bit for the, I don't know how to say that, the body, the body of the tree. Okay. that's it. So can you see the effect? Not really. That's a shame because it's very nice and you can't see it on the camera. Trust me, it's nice. It's a I don't know if you if you can't see it's green. Yes, like that. That's it. I will put a picture so you you see better. And I I have all this powder here, and I don't want to to throw it. So I'm going to add more water. piece of paper and I will make another background for another day
I hope you will try this technique if you have the the powder and let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm going to make another one, but it will not be a, a nice one, but it's a, a base for something else afterward. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy. It was not too long, so this is my. Can't. Bye, everybody.